Unfortunately, the atmosphere protects us, um, that's our, all living things on Earth, from UV radiation coming from the sun. So this is a natural protection, and this happens up in the stratosphere before UV radiation even hits the troposphere. So this is thanks to these two molecules, ozone, this is the diatomic two oxygen atoms bonded together, um, called the oxygen molecule because they're smushed together, and then this is ozone. When you add one more oxygen, it's O3, which is the air pollutant in the troposphere, but up in the stratosphere, we absolutely need it, and it protects us from harmful UV. How does ozone do that? It is that ozone will um, be absorbing the UV energy, and um, this is absorbed in the bonds of the ozone molecule. So the ozone basically sacrifices itself when it absorbs the UV energy, bond, the bonds are broken, so um, UV breaks bonds, and it breaks the bond in ozone, and then ozone is no longer ozone, but ozone becomes an oxygen molecule. Now, ozone is formed in the stratosphere in the reverse, is that... Uh, this happens up there in the stratosphere, so definitely not in the troposphere, is that ozone is formed as well as ozone is, um, is broken down. So uh, this happens in the presence of sunlight, just as in the troposphere, where you need energy. Um, this is sunlight, and specifically it's going to be UV energy that uh, in the stratosphere will hit oxygen up there in the stratosphere, and this is similar to ground level ozone that um, requires uh, sunlight. But the difference between ground level ozone, troposphere ozone, and stratospheric ozone is that in the stratosphere, there's no primary air pollutant required. So there's no NO2 or SO2 or even VOCs required. You only need oxygen and sunlight. So ozone um, is formed, and this formation of ozone occurs during the daytime. This is all over the planet, or the parts of the planet that are exposed to the sun, and this happens every single day. Um, also, what happens every single day is ozone is destroyed as it's being hit by UV. And so this is going on, reminder of regions of Earth's atmosphere, uh, this is going on up in the stratosphere, and the stratosphere is this whole region that is between 9.3 miles or 9.3 miles or 15 kilometers. That's kilo, the metric prefix, and up to about 30 miles out and 50 kilometers. So that um, region of the stratosphere is a large, large region, but the ozone layer is actually just the lower level of that stratosphere. And all of this is above where we live in the troposphere, and even above where you would go if you were in an airplane. So the ozone layer is a region in the stratosphere, the lower stratosphere, and it is a, a region of maximum ozone concentration. So this ozone layer is the maximum ozone concentration that is present on Earth or in Earth's atmosphere. And this is another graph showing amounts of ozone on the x-axis. This is here. And then on the y-axis, comparing miles or comparing altitude. Either way, the amount of ozone you can see in the troposphere, this is the lowest part of this graph, is that in red, we have some ozone, and this is ozone as an air pollutant. It's a secondary air pollutant that's created from the primary air pollutant, either NO2 or SO2 and sunlight. But this is a small, a small amount of ozone in comparison to how much ozone is in the stratosphere. In the stratosphere, you can see this ozone amount is all the way up to here, which is a lot more than here. And this is in the ozone layer in the stratosphere. 
this is um, out there the altitude between 15 kilometers and all the way up to 50 but in the lower part 15 to 30 kilometers or approximately 9 miles to 18 miles so this is a lot of ozone out there and uh, the ozone in the lower stratosphere is a very high concentration of ozone it's about 90 percent of the total ozone in earth's all of earth's uh, parts of the atmosphere and the interesting thing about ozone is it's called a layer circling that but it's not a layer like you would have a layer in clothing or a layer of a blanket it's just a high concentration and this is the maximum or high concentration um, but even at that very high concentration which means you have a lot of it if you take all the ozone molecules the O3 molecules and you compress them um, you would have a thickness of about a quarter inch thick if you take all that ozone in that stratosphere. So it's because the molecules are very small to start with, but they're, they're, and they're all spread out over the stratosphere. So all of that, that layer that's about a quarter inch thick is protecting us from harmful UV radiation, primarily by absorbing UVC that would be quite dangerous if it did hit us. So the ozone in the stratosphere is so important that it has its own units called Dobson units or DU for short and uh, this is the measurement we will see of ozone in uh, coming lecture is reported in Dobson units this amount 300 Dobson units is the the average amount of ozone over um, the earth and we'll see that this is again ozone in the stratosphere and we'll see that that's varied over time and it varies throughout the year, the amount of ozone um, in Earth's stratosphere. And we'll look at the chemistry behind that.